Hey everybody, it's Joel Irway again with DailyFEExamPrep.com and today we are going to be talking about the distance between two, between three points. Uh, and this is going to fall under the mathematics and advanced engineering mathematics subject with regards to analytic geometry and trigonometry. Okay, let's jump right into it. Now this formula is given to us in the NCEES Supplied Reference Handbook on page 18. So let me show you exactly where that is. Um, and it is under the distance between two points. Now our example problem is actually going to be solved with three points, but we're going to follow the same format as what's given in here. We're just going to add the z coordinates uh, into this formula. So this formula tells us that the distance between two points is equal to d is equal to the square root of y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared and then we're just going to add z2 minus z1 squared all under the square root sign. So let's get started. So we know that the for formula for this is going to be d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared plus z2 minus z1 squared. So let's go ahead and plug that into our, uh, into our formula. And uh, we get 3 minus 5 squared plus 6 minus 1 squared plus 0 minus minus 4 squared and we're going to take the square root of all of that. Now I use a calculator uh, which I recommend all of my students which is the Casio FX 115 ES plus. Now for this in for this particular problem I like it because it will give me a, a natural line display and by what I mean what I mean by natural is that it will actually solve this for me. I can input this exactly as I wrote it. I can see exactly how I inputted it and I can format it using uh, using that calculator so it looks very very simple and I don't have to mess around with any sort of um, sequence of operations. So I like that because it will also give me an output that is natural to what most textbooks are going to are going to show you. So it will give me the actual square root output instead of just a decimal format. Now I can specify it to do whatever I want. If I wanted the decimal value, I'm going to do whatever the sample problem is or whatever the exam problem is going to is going to present itself as. And here it's given it to us as complex number format. So I've inputted this already. Once you input that in your calculator, it tells me that that answer is 3 times the square root of 5. And we can see that that is option B. So this is a very simple simple problem to, uh, to solve and uh, hopefully you guys are using a calculator that has enough functionality to do this. So this has been Joel Irway with DailyFEExamPrep.com. Please check that website for more sample problems and, uh, and daily updates. Take care.